Welcome to another SMC technical training video. On this video we will show you how to set the wireless EX600 system up on your network PLC with an Ethernet module. During the video we will show you the equipment and software you will need and show you step by step how to complete it. In the end we will have a PLC driven actuator working through the EX600. Let's get started. Here are the parts and tools that you will need to add your circuit into the EX600 system to do work. You'll need a PC, software, internet, and USB connectivity for communication as well. First, check out the original EX600 hardware setup video from our site. Then, view the new EX600 wireless hardware and IP setup video before continuing. Now, complete the tubing and plugs for the pneumatic circuit. Then test for proper airflow by manually overriding the valve stations. Simplify the Ethernet module setup by installing the EDS file. Download and install the EDS file for the wireless EX600 from our site. Check the video page for more details. Next, start a session of RS Logics 5000. Create a project, then go to the Tools drop-down and select EDS Hardware Installation Tool. Select Register an EDS file, then hit Next. Select the directory where the EDS files were saved, then hit Next. You'll see EDS file install test results, then can change the device graphic, then verify the final EDS installation. Now, to complete the Ethernet module setup, right-click on Ethernet and choose a new module. Under Select Module Type, choose EX600 WEN from the catalog, then hit Create. Enter the unit name, then put in the IP address set earlier. Click Change and put in the I.O. data as set in I.O. Configurator. And hit OK. Then OK again. Now run Who Active from the Communications tab. Then download the application into the PLC. And put the PLC into Run Mode. Now let's test the valves as they've been mapped into the PLC. So go into Controller Tags. Then choose the Output Area drop-down. We can see the output bits reflected in I.O. Configurator, as well as the output card indicator lights. You can use the EX600 web interface to check and change analog or digital activity, like Offset 16 here or I.O. Configurator here, or RS Logics here as well. Change the solenoid bits for the wireless EX600 to remotely fire the solenoid signals. Here you can verify output activity on the I.O. modules installed. And now we can see our actuator doing work directly from the PLC over the wireless EX600 system. We hope you found this video useful. Look for our other technical training videos to assist in controlling your automation processes.